Okay, so it's the evening of our final part of call, which this cruise with St. Thomas. So we're now here in centre stage, getting ready for visual symphony, a wonderful demonstration of the technical equipment in centre stage. And talking of technicians, here's Jess. Hi. And Dom. Hello. Hey. And Charlie. Hi. Who's not a technician? No. I'm here at my favorite spot on the celebration, Emeralds Bistro, not just for our incredible staff, but also for the delicious food. So tonight's order is Emeralds Signature Jambalaya, and I've also got the Bananas Foster because my diet starts when we get back to Miami. I promise, it's the first of the month, it's a new cruise, it's a great time to think about being healthier, but tonight it's it's bananas loaded with ice cream and, and melted sugar. Now, Gabby, what did you get? Oh, I got the sausage balls, the shrimp scampi, and the strawberries Romanoff, and I am not starting a diet in Miami. <laughs> there we go, Emeralds Bistro. Don't miss out, when you cruise, when my mom and I were here, well, I'm always here. When my mom was here, we ate here almost every single night. Isn't that right? Yes, sir, this is right. She's our VIP guest. Listen, they didn't realize when they were going to work at Emeralds that they were also going to be stars of the internet. If you see this vlog and you know the team down here, stop by, say hi and tell them you've seen them on YouTube, okay? Now, Mum, I know what you're going to say, but it, it's just too good. I haven't had one. This is the only one. It's the only one. Diet starts in Miami. And welcome to my little cruise director cabin office space here on the celebration. Now, this one is a, is a personal one, but I know I speak on behalf of a handful of our cruise directors when I say that one of the most frustrating parts of being a cruise director is when a guest says, where were you? These ships are huge, especially these XL class ships, Mardi Gras, Celebration and Jubilee. But that's not to ignore the fact that Vista, Horizon, Panorama, Venezia are also massive. There's so much going on, there's so much happening out and about around the ship. And while we try to be present and get around and see everyone, the operation is huge. The, the job that we're doing on board is massive and the actual ship itself is massive. And we're very, very busy. Just today, I received a comment on my Facebook page from a wonderful guest, and it comes from a place of love. Don't get me wrong. They reached out to me and said, we haven't seen you. Now, I replied and I said, well, this cruise, I don't know how you haven't, because since the start of the cruise, I host the Sail Away Party, then activate the fun. I pop into the comedy club to say hi and to connect with the comedians and make sure the host's okay. The next day, I host The Wave, that's our morning TV show our fun ashore, fun aboard presentation. Then I head on over and I do our diamond luncheon as you saw in the last vlog. If you didn't see it, skip on back. I was gonna say rewind, it's not in this video. Skip on back and watch that one. I do our Dr. Sousa Palooza parade and story time into our Family Feud Live auditions. Then we've got an event called Let's Celebrate. Now, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't attend. This week we had a conference call and I unfortunately couldn't make it, but I tried to pop up at least once a week during the cruise to Let's Celebrate. 
Then in the evening, our captains welcome toast, two love and marriage shows, and an 80s rock and glow party. And that's just like the first day and a half of being on board. Then we get into the islands, I wake up in the morning, tell everyone we're good to go, and on that first port of call, I host three Family Feud Live episodes in the Grand Spectrum Theatre. Then, another port of call, we've got What's Age Got To Do With It, Guess That Groove, the team hosts a white night party on the Lido deck, just to give us insurance in case Guess That Groove runs very close and I don't have the time to get up there. Then, of course, fast forward to the next port day and say, hey, we've arrived, two deal or no deal episodes and a Motown party. Today is our day at sea number two. I've hosted The Wave, our military appreciation gathering. I'm heading through to do Backyard Bash. Then I host The World Works here, our wonderful flag parade for our crew and introduce We Are One, the show in Celebration Central, or as we call it, Center Stage. Okay, maybe that was overkill and a little overshare on what my schedule has looked like so far into this cruise. But my point being is that none of the cruise directors are hiding from you. We're out there, we're busy and we're accessible, but maybe, just maybe, if it matters to you to connect with the cruise director, then perhaps my best advice is to come along to the events. Get involved, come to the shows. Now, our schedule is so tight that sometimes sticking around for 25, 30 minutes after an event just isn't possible because we have to get to the next one. But today, I finished our military appreciation gathering at about noon, and it wasn't until 12.45 that I made it to my cabin to make the announcement to tell everyone what's happening around the ship when I should have made that announcement at 12. A little naughty, but my point is, I'm out there, I'm wanting to give my time to our guests. I don't know, perhaps this is just a, a reactive video because I'm feeling guilty that I couldn't be everywhere and be everything to everyone on such a huge ship. But it is a sentiment that is echoed a couple of times and it's something that I'm having to get used to aboard, especially these XL class ships, Mardi Gras, Celebration, Next year, towards the end, I am heading to Venezia, which is slightly smaller, so hopefully I can find a way of being more accessible and out there. But tell me this, would you prefer that your cruise director host every single event known to man on the ship, or would you prefer your cruise director to be walking around the decks and connecting with people and talking and listening to your experiences, or if you've got feedback, stories to connect, to reconnect, let me know, what is your preference? Anyway, this is just me chatting to you in my office, another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, subscribe, drop a little like on the video. It tells YouTube that you liked the video and that you want to see more. And write me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what you think. If you've got feedback, I'm definitely open to it, okay? So write me a comment down below. And even if you've got nothing to say, just say hi. Until the next time, bye for now. Much love from the celebration. And before I let you go, I've got to show you this. How cool is this little duck? Our guests have taken to hiding ducks around the ship. Now, this isn't a carnival arranged activity, but our guests have started this rubber ducky scavenger hunt, which is growing and growing and growing. And, and basically, they hide ducks around the ship. And if you find them, you can choose to keep the duck for yourself or you can rehide it for someone else to find. And they ask you to take a photograph and to uh, post it into the Cruising Ducks Facebook group. But how cool is this? Handmade little crochet duck. That is talent. It must have took ages and it is so super cute. So I just had to show it off. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll be back with another video very soon.